Is our friend Nizavin. I see what I did wrong already. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, we'll just do this. This needs to be two layers. We got the first brim layer. And then we can do this as a layer. You can see blam. Hey, pet, how's it going? Tisha. I like it. Welcome to the stream. I haven't seen, but I see a little sneaky mouse in there. That's good. Hey. We just, just try and, I, it's been a, a hot minute since I've done some stuff. I grabbed a Nisavin and I'm uh, working on this here. Well, thanks. Thanks. Thanks for being here. We're just trying to see what we're going to do. I'm trying to, um, Turn this guy into a little Nissavin action into Anime Studio. I've seen all the Puppet Pals stuff before in the streams, and they're really, really good art, but they're all raster and, like, hand-drawn. But I think they're all, like, pings. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna get those... those little... creases in here, but we'll do this for now. Probably need a... There we go. Oh. The thing I love about Moho, what used to be called Anime Studio, is that I'm not a super great drawer, but I can sculpt with points. So I like that. So you move it around and the, the lines change. We'll figure this layering out in a little bit. But you can hit C, and then that'll get you the curvature tool as well. The, the line do the wibbly wobbly. It sure does. The wibbly wobbly all over the place. Uh, the other cool thing is so I've got the layer in front of it. So this, we hit Q to select a shape, and then you hit the arrow key down. And down and up does our layering. Then we can hit the H key in order to hide, and then we can start hiding line segments. I think we need that one. Bring that one back. Then these. Let's see. Tiny little one here. Oh, the shape. We gotta select this shape, hit Q, select the shape, arrow down, arrow down, arrow down, arrow down. There we go. Getting there. I gotta do his hair still. But, uh, getting all that ready to rock here. So, H. Ooh, H, hello H, there we go. We can hide that line. After those are done, you can hit G, that's your select tool, and then W, that's your line width tool, and then from here, we get these really great line widths that we can do their creases. You just select that point. That's fun. So yeah, that's, that'd be under there, and then I can get the, the back layer here. A key gets me back to my point select. Now I can click, hold, and drag. Click, hold, drag. Kind of roughing it in. And then that's going to be my shape. Oh, I like, I like that. It's a little, it's a little wobbly. A little wibbly wobbly here. And select the point, hit the T for translate. Then we can start to sh sculpt it. If we need no more points, we just hit A, and then you'll see the cursor kind of turns red. I can click, it'll give me a new point there. And then I just massage it into place. Hit T. And then we need another sharp crease, so that's C for Charlie. For Cat. We probably don't want to be talking about cats, but there's mice around here. Yeah, little, you know, little tutorial, little tutorial. I saw, I was inspired by our great 
fearless leader, Mr. Rob. That looks pretty good. So that shape is going to be in the wrong order. So we'll hit Q. Select the shape. We can do shift. And now it's behind it there. That's right. The fearless Ro Robinson. Robinson Caruso. Teacher McTeacher. So that's kind of weird right there. So we'll get back on the layer. Select points, select the point C. Get it nice and crisp. T. And get it there. G. Hide it much better. U to select the shape. And we could do like a just a little bit darker for a minute here. Really needs those creases, huh? We'll get that hair. I think the hair will, will make a difference. Also, that brow is a little too high, isn't it? So we'll hit G. Man, my keyboard, like, isn't responding. Hit G. And then T. Bring it down just a titch. And then maybe even angle it a, a tad. There we go. A little better. Get that hair in there. A click, drag, drag, drag. Kind of roughing it out. Tracing these guys here. Great original art. Makes this way easy. C, sharpen that up. C, sharpen that one up. Sharpen this one up. Uh, this one probably use a little bit. A little bit sharp here. A little sharp there. There we go. A little bit of curvature. And he doesn't have this little swoopy doop. So we'll C, sharpen that up. Yeah. Hit Q. Hide. Select the shape, arrow down, arrow down. There we go. King Bobby Joe! Johnny, I thought you were a programmer. I do programming as well, King Bobby Joe. We were programming a bunch of stuff before. <laughs> we did the, uh, the squad. My little, where is that? Where is my little chickadee? Here it is. The scores for our little... I got this. This was really cool that I got working. Quick interlude. I have our new score count working that you can actually pass parameters via the URL. So that's kind of cool. So you can put the round number, the team number, or the team name, team one and two name. And then I need to figure something out that if, if you win, you do some other stuff. So that's this. It's a lot of fun. But right now, I'm just kind of... I have not got a chance to play in uh, Moho... They're up to version 13 now, and they introduced a lot of frame-by-frame -frame animation, which I've never been a fan of. of not maybe frame-by-frame maybe frame is a wrong thing to do, so. Last of a scoreboard via database could be there. Petitia, very close. Let's see here. So right now, we could do, like, uh, OWI. We'll do... Here, this one. And then let me use my stylish. There. Black. So we'll say it's round. Round equals 99. Team one is... Petitious Pirates. I wonder what's going to happen. I have never used a... We're going to break. We're going to QA this thing right now. Versus Bobby Joe's... Bobby Joe... Uh... Jingles. Bobby Joe Jingles. This thing's gonna blow up now, I bet.
Or did it automatically do it? Let's see. You are watching... Round... 99... Of... Petitia's... Pirates... Yeah! Versus... Bobby Joe... Jingles! And then the database is actually that JSON file that we just took a look at, Patricia. So it's this one here. So that's technically a database. It's it's just not on a server. Kind of it is. It's not on a very smart server. This score.js here. This has got all... This is the data in the database. JSON's really cool. It's a lot of fun. There's Bobby Joe! Bobby Joe Jingles! <laughs> I know. It's just a quick little thing. I don't want to deal with authentication and... Yeah, it's kind of cool. So, yeah, this way, we use it for a game we cast squad. It's for shoutcasting. It's an eSports thing, dealio. And um, these are the team names. So this way, there's multiple casters. So that there's like three or four games going on at the same time, and they can all use this. And we can... You link it to your this guy, and then there's a shared element here. So the score... This is their section that is their their specific thing for their game, and then this replace me deal will automatically fill in everything from this this JSON file. Kind of cool. And then there's animation settings, which I bopped out, actually. And the score format, I also bopped out. I simply, I refactored. And then I used, it's called uh, green, what, what is it called? It's green, uh, what the crap? Green shot? No, not green shot. That's what I, what is green? Green sock. Green sock! To do the animation. So green sock. <laughs> and this is broke because I'm using stylish. Turn all styles off. There we go. The so green sock. Speaking of animation, that's what we're doing here. These are tween animations, which is really cool. But this is done via programmatically. So you can actually program. This is real neat. Real neat. So if you're doing internet stuff. It's not like Flash, it's basically for if you're doing web design. And you want cool animations. You can do that! Oh, I'm about to sneeze! I don't want to do that. Okay, so, the... Whoa. <laughs> Johnny, did you know there's a company that actually made a lot of the vehicles in squad and other military vehicles out of Legos and custom prints military minifigures and modern weapons? Bobby Joe, I did not know that. I would love to know. Link, go ahead and throw the link in the chat, broski. I'm just going to use the A key to do this hair here. And then I'm going to use G to select a point. C to sharpen it. C, C drag, C drag. So what's cool here is there's actually a little bit of, yeah, there's a little bit of dealio here. So I wonder if I can, yeah, that's pretty good. We'll give it a little bit of curve here. Hit T, bring that down. There we go. The hand drawn is beautiful, like, because the animations were step animations. So they, I think it was like 12 or, I don't know how many frames per second. Urum's live is, but um, it's beautiful. A G, Q, Q to select the shape, shift. There we go. Hey man, it's kind of starting to look like Nissan a little bit there. Tend to get pricey. A lot of custom parts, as you can imagine. They do military Legos from World War One to modern, and even have most of their Star Wars guns made. It's called. Oh my goodness. That is what? Halloween sale! 15% off store wide! Holy cow! That's ridiculous. Let's try that. What's their new release? What? Did you see that Dragon Gorgon thing? What? Okay, that's awesome. Rude. A German Geiberschnegager! Holy cow, $1,600? $1,400? Okay, I, I think it's cool, but I don't think it's... Oh, it's $1,400, sorry. $1,040, pre-order. This better be like... 
5,000 pieces. Holy smokes. Okay, that's quite a few pieces. Wow. Yeah, that's more than I have. It's cool as heck, though. So, I think another key feature of Nisivin is this little... His little eye crease there. And his nose also. He needs a little bit more rounded nose. So we'll hit G. And hit T. Nope, G to select the one point. T. Bring that up just a little bit. And maybe C. Nope, don't select all the points. C. There's just a little, little bit there. Three feet long, it's crazy. That would be, that would be something where, I mean, for a while there's like, uh, people were stealing Legos, and they were, like, the, the Mafia was stealing truckloads of Legos because it was better to use Legos to pay people than cash, because it was like, it held its value, and, uh, it was, like, untraceable or something. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. Alright, so there's a slight curve here. You need to add another point, so A to add. Click. Just a tiny, tiny. Hit T. Go like that. Just a little bit, but it's just, like I said, you're just sculpting. You're just sculpting it. You're just kind of feeling it. What happens if you move it over here? You just feel it. There are people that are way better at this withdrawing than I am. That's why I like this one. And also, I think that so Rob has always had a super good eye for color. And I'll never forget it. I thought I had Sir Schmoopy's colors like ready to rock. And he's like, nope, that's not the color. But how do you know that? Okay, I'm already making a mistake. I'm trying to do this whole body, but actually, I need to break it up into the chest and the arms, don't I? So let's hit G, select the line. So if you select, if you click on the line, you'll select everything that is part of the shape. But if you select the point, you're just selecting that point. So I select the line and then I hit delete. He's got a little, little bobble nose. So hit A again, and then we're going to actually cut it off here. Boop. And if you leave, you can see the segment. This is, I'm going to hide that segment. So I know I can keep that open like that. There we go. Going to go here. Oh my god, it's in front of the thing! Put it, uh, Q to select the shape. Select the shape. Shift back. What up, Sneaky Mouse? In the chat, there's Tech. What up, Tech? Thanks for popping in. Alright, we're at G. G will show us our lines. We're gonna hit H. Gonna be our line hider. Click on the segment we want to hide. Bloop. Bloop. Look at that. Now we can make that thicker if we want. We can do W. I must have to like click inside of this thing for it to work. Yep. W and then everything's selected. <laughs> we can do that. Hit G to select the one point. W. And then w over here. Over here. Whatever feels good. Happy little trees. Gamer Green! What's up, Green? Alright. Hitting G. Hitting A. Our tool again. We're gonna just start dragging. This is gonna be a tough one. His arm. I don't know where his arm goes after this, so we'll have to kind of play with that. He's got loose, loose sleeve like wizard. So we'll do nice big <laughs> sleeves. That's actually a pretty good line right there. I also don't know where... I think... Is Nisivin a keen? We can... Oh, click on this dot. Shift. Click. 
Now I'm just selecting the two. C. That's going to get that down. T. And drag those down. I don't know what Nistavan is. I thought he was a dragon aspect. I lost track of all the lore and I need help. All right, hit A. This guy here. Yeah, he was like a... He's he's like a big... Big mucky muck. Grab this. Bop. 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 Ba -da. So that's good and bad. We've got... Hmm. I don't know what we're going to do there. But we'll see. G... So the layering, I think, is right. Let's find out. Ooh, baby dot. Baby dot. This one is behind. So this arm's behind. So Q. And then shift. There we go. Yeah, that looks right. And this guy's in front. But he's got, like, two creases here. So there's, like, a shape and another shape. So there's actually another, like, back shape that I could probably... All right, let's hit G. Okay, so now we're going to teach you... This is fun. So we're going to take this line... Oh, maybe not that line. We're going to take this line here. Boop, that point. We're going to bring it over here because I need that coverage, right? And now we're going to do a divergence. Are you ready? A divergence. You're going to hit A. You're going to drop a line here because we're going to create this line as part of the shape. So I'm going to hit this line. Boop. I got my point that I'm going to branch off of now. Bloop. And then here. And then I think that's good. Hit G. So it's not there yet, but we're going to hit G. Select the line. Hit U to create a shape. Hit Enter. Boop. Now we got our line. Now we can W. Or width. And then H, and let's hide this guy here. See what this looks like. G to select all of them. I could select either the line or I could select the shape itself, inside the shape there. I like to select the shape so now I can hit T, move that up just a little bit, just a titch. We got a little shoulder. That's, see it's way smoother in the, in the show though. So, hit T, actually hit G, click somewhere else. Click on the one dot. T. Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay, so. Ooh. We need to. We need to figure this out. How are we gonna. I need a line that's basically gonna go up here. But look at that. See that? So we're gonna need to do some. Some wacky stuff here. So A, that's at another point. Nisivan is keen. All right. I thought he was keen. All right. And then we'll do a point up here. And when you add points, you're okay. You're changing the flow of everything. Well, you know what I could be able to do is just hit G. Select the one point. Hit C. There we go. Take, take it so it just... There we go. And then H. Hide that guy. And then G to unselect. W. The width is a little bit crazy. T. That's pretty close. Yeah, G. And then when we actually start doing stuff with bones here, that'll be... So we're going to have to deal with some line thickness. We've got the default lines... Yeah, line thickness for sure. But I was saying before, before I got distracted, Robin color. I just think that his use of color in this subtle, like where everything is kind of blue. I don't know why they did it. Maybe it was, I don't know why, honestly. I don't know if it was part of the chroma key or if it was just a contrast thing. Like, hey, we got a lot of colors here, so I want these to be muted in front. Or if it's kind of like a sketch, like prototype color. 
and it really works. Because everything's not, it's, that's a, that's blue. That's a blue outline, and then it's like a nice shade of blue here. Let me see if I can figure out how to... Let's sample that color. So, we will copy that. And I'm gonna take it into Photoshop. Patricia, you have a great day, buddy. I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, drop a f thanks for the follow. All my follow notifications are disabled right now because I was doing casting, so. You have a great night, okay? Thanks for coming in. What's up, Plushie? How you doing? We're having some colors right here. This is the chosen color, the 1B253D. There will be a test. <laughs> all right, let's start to make all of our colors that color. So Q, select the shape, stroke, color pickers right over here. We have that in our queue. We can just paste it. Bloop. Now, after we have it done once, we can... Uh, oh, you know what I should do? I should also grab the other color. While we're there. While we're in there, let's sample that. And now we're at 6675891. Oh, of course. Of course it's that color. So again, we can hit our Q key. Go over here to our style. We just did our stroke. We're going to go to our fill. You can do your hex code here. A lot of different controls. Boop, that's what we got. Click OK. Now it's starting to look like U-Realms, right? Now you get Q. The other cool thing is you can now uh, apply this color to all your shapes. So we just click on the other shape and we hit Control. That's going to sample that color. So I'm going to hit Control Z. If you hit Alt, it uh, doesn't... Is it Shift? What is, what is it? Johnny! All right, do it the right way. Select the... <laughs> we'll do it reverse. Whichever one you want that color, hit Control and then... Bloop. You just click on there. So here. Control. Bloop. We'll do them all. We're getting... He's so blue. Daba D. Daba Dai Daba D. So the line art... Um... This one, I I just screenshotted it from there. So this was us making it. We just made that. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't know what just happened. I hit a button I should have... couldn't have hit. I'm hitting too many buttons. Go back to Q. Sample. 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 There we go. Oh, almost there. This guy. This should be all the blues we need. All right, now we'll take our other lighter colors. I think there's a white in here, and then there's a... Yeah. So there's a DBEOE7. Great, I've not done Outer Worlds yet. I've been seeing people playing it. What do you think? Have you played it? How is it? Tell me everything. It's the classicness of it. No, I just grabbed one. Tech, can you? You got a link to the other one? Let's let's do let's do them both. Why not? You know, let's let's. Oh. Q. This guy. Boop. I think this is just white. Let's double check. I wouldn't put it past him. Nope. It's just off. Just a teensy, teensy, teeny, tiny bit. White is just a little too much. There we go. Thanks, Tech! Or if you have a link to the other one. All right, so the blue... Here we go. I can take this fill, and then I can just have the nice droppers here. And what color is this? No. Oh, also that. Boop. 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 Hey, there we go. 
That's kind of nice of any. Here we go. All right. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun one. So maybe it'll be old Nisivin meets new Nisivin. I like new Nisivin because there's a lot more clean lines. It's a beautiful art style. Absolutely beautiful. The thing that's tricky to animate, though, are the eyes on the new Nisivin. Let's get that paste. What do you want to name this image? New Nissi. <laughs> it's Rob! What's up, Rob? It might be cheating a little bit. <laughs> Rob says, this is cheating! You're not allowed to participate, you cheater! I mean, of course you are. Uh, the teacher's calling me, but... I made... <laughs> This is like super meta. If the original teacher submits the homework, what's gonna happen? <laughs> I don't know, man. I gotta tell you, Rob, it was beautiful. I was moved. This, this, what Rob is doing, I know I've got like one person watching, but if you don't, Green, I don't think you know about Rob. Maybe you do, but uh, if you're still watching, this guy, creative genius, uh, had the pleasure of working with a long time ago, and, um, I gotta say, it's been amazing catching back up. There he is! There he is. But, yeah, it's been cool. So we're gonna do another. I haven't done this in so long, I've only used it for work a couple times since then. So we'll do new layer, vector. So, I really like the Moho version 12. The version 13 is wackadoo. Rob says, I have such absurd confidence in my plan, but boy, I got a lot of haters that are really holding me back and messing with my... See, no, I'm not a hater, Rob. This is it. Yes, dude, that's what happened. When I... Rob, this is like a feedback loop, a positive feedback loop. Because when I saw you, I'm like, dude, I'm cracking my knuckles. I'm like, we got... Oh, man, I remember this. It was so much fun. You <laughs> Oh my god, the meta! The meta, I don't know. I, honestly, I'm so old, I don't even know what that means anymore. The meta, it's Spider Oz, what up? Oz, great to see ya. Wait, Spider, it's what up a Spider. So now we're doing some layers. We're going vector up in here. With This will be exciting because I never did these eyes because masking was such a pain in the patookas. This art is so beautiful. This is gonna be fun, these guys here. This is going to be super fun, and the beard is going to be fun but difficult. The ears are going to be cool. This hat is neat. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm crying. <laughs> Green, let me tell you, if you don't, you got to click on Rob's name and go to his channel. He makes the coolest stuff. Uh, I'm a big fan of his, the art and Unforgotten Realms. It's over. I'm not gonna lie. It's overwhelming to like go there and become part of the family, but it is. It's worth it, um, especially if you like role playing. Lately, Rob, you've been doing some Grand Theft Auto role play, which has been really fun. Yes, we are going to make it easier. All right, so here we go. A key. That's good. We're doing points. And we're going to start with the lowest layer, maybe? I don't know. I like faces. I also love eyes. So this eye, way harder than the other eye. Because this eye, we can do whatever. We just blink, right? We don't have to worry about the white and then this. We're going to have shapes. And then how do you keep them inside of here, right? How do you keep this eye that it can go inside of here? So there's masking. And it is a. it still is a pain to this day. Oh, there's a nose here. Okay, we're going to have the... Okay. All right, let's do the, 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 the eyebrow. Eyebrow's easy. Look at that. Click, hold, and drag. All right. 
G to select points. We're going to select this point. We're going to hold shift, click that point, hit the C key. Click, drag to the left. Zip. There's that. But now we need a little bit more curvature on the top. So G again, click on the top, C key to the right. Boom. We got some nice full, full brows. Full brows. Control C, control V. Bringing that brow over here. This one needs a little more love, a little more fullness. So we're going to hit G. Rob, we didn't have anything like this when we were when we were doing it. Like, if you could actually cast you working on the show like we did, dude, that would have been so much cooler. All right, these guys need... Well, it's not going to be exact. It's not going to be exact, but okay. Hit A. Uh, let's do the... I know, if we had streaming when we started, we would have been in- it would have been everything. Alright, Green. Have a good time. Green's in Australia, so is Spider. Yeah, dude, hit me with whatever. Link me or whatever, send me or whatever you need. I don't know. Whatever. Hit me. I'm gonna work on- I'm gonna hit eyes. Boop. We'll do low here. And then you might be asking, Johnny, how do you know where to put- I don't. I really don't. You just gotta feel it. Again, I like Moho, which used to be called Anime Studio because you sculpt. Because I'm not as artistic and as, like, oh my god, the drawings that come out of this team are insane. I can't do that. Um, but I can hit C. <laughs> I, can, I can slowly get it there. I can slowly massage it. Hit G. But I love it. Rob, you were totally like, I saw you just playing with that other stuff and I was just, oh my god, it was so cool. Alright. Hold the CV. Alright, G. Select this point here. Oh, look at that. And look, way sharper. What are we gonna use? You called it! The C key! Curvature tool. Boop. We're gonna get a... Much better point here. Now this is kind of wackadoo. What's going on here? Maybe C? Alright. So, new in this version, you can actually grab one of the handles. And that's only going to affect the one side. Which is going to work for our shape in this area. Uh, you can't do that in the old versions. Naku! What's up, Naku? Whoa! Did people- did something happen, Rob? Did you do a thing? Because people showed up. I don't normally look at the view counts. I do it. So I follow Rob's advice of keep this as a hobby. And it's the best advice he's ever given. So I try not to look at view counts and stuff. But what up, Mark Plummer? I see that sneaky mouse in there with the sneakiness. Rob posted a link. Thanks, Jack Black. Crawford24 up in here. What's up, Crawford? Sneaky mouse. Let's see those sneaky mice in chat, everybody. Is that how the big wigs do it? <laughs> We're here to see homework. Well, we're working on it. Zyhero Loco, thanks for being here. Plains Predator. Homeless Homie. P.S. Huckle. A squeak to squeak to squeak to you all. A squeaky squeak. The four best game. The four best game. All right, this is going to blow my mind. So, oh, eyes. Eyes are the bane of my existence. So you need a couple shapes for eyes. You need two shapes. You need this, you need the eye hole. That's your eye hole. And then you need what is going to be your pupil and your other stuff inside the eye. So let's just focus on the eyes. I'm actually going to move these brows out of... Whoa. I'm going to break them. I'm going to move them out of here. I'm going to put you up there, brows. Naku spent the money. I'm a free-to-play sneaky mouse. That's my mouse. Oh, <laughs> he didn't spend the money. He got in. He's got to grind. He's, he's going to be grinding for a while. Trip, tr double A Bowser. I was going to say triple A Bowser, but that's double A's. He's bigger than triple A. Triple A's smaller. Like batteries. All right. We're going to use a little sneaky draw shape. In the Moho 12, it's going to look a little different. But um, again, if you are a frame-by-frame -frame animator, you want to check out Moho 13. If you, you're going to be in heaven because they have way more frame by frame and drawing and stuff. That's not my cup of tea. I like doing the sculpty. I take up my time. This is very calming for me. Uh, but here we can get the uh, different shapes. We're going to go with the oval shape here. And we're going to click and drag an oval shape. And that looks pretty good for our pupil. Our pupil. So 
select it, control C, control V. We now have our, our uh, selection area here. And we can make ourselves an eye. All right, we're going to focus on this eye now. This is, oof. you ready? You ready, team? Here we go. We are going to watch me screw up big time. So, Q to select shapes. We have our good blues in here, though, so that's good. We're going to take this fill, and we're going to use this eyedropper. You click and you hold it, and it'll sample anything on the page. But I'm going to steal that stroke right there. And then I also don't want the stroke, so I'm going to uncheck stroke. So now I just have a clean... You see that? The stroke goes on the outside and on the inside of the line, where if you just have the regular shape, it's just... It fills the the entirety of whatever your lines are. We look like a little froggy frog here. So this guy, I do need the stroke. Pretty sure... Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I also need a shape here. So let's take... We're going to hit Q. Select that. Let me go here. Fill. Eyedropper. Bloop! Hide. G. Show. There's that. The eye without the mask is kind of spooky. It's kind of fun! I mean, it's kind of weird. I've seen it both ways. Like, a lot of animes will do that. But the eyes are the most important part of any character. We were really lucky with these. Because you could just blink them and you were done. And you look around and blah 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 blah. Mark Plummer, 1998. That was a good year. What is that emote? Is that a hamburger and a shake? I don't even know what that is. A ru uh, what is that? Is that a... Is that a Dracolich? I don't know what that is. I'm out of... I'm out of... I'm out of touch. Okay. So... Control C. So I shift click with my G key. So G to select. Click in the middle of the shape. Hold down shift. Click in the middle of the shape. Control C. Control V. T. Bring it on over here. And now you want to keep it in kind of the same spot. So now... We're going to test it by holding G, with G again, select, select, T, and then, all right, looking good. We got some eyes. All right, now that we got those eyes, we're going to control X to cut, create a new layer, image. I think you could, you don't have, oh, what, what did I do, image? I didn't want to do image. That's silly. Vector. It's a possum? It's a danger rat? Okay. Forgive me. We're pasting it on our new layer. We're going to call this the pupil layer. I don't know why this is over here. So this is pupils. Name, pupils. Pupils. Apply. Okay. All right. This guy is... Our pupils are hidden. Oh! What did Rob say last time? Who can put it in chat? What frame am I working on? Extra credit. If you remember. Fra frame! Frame! <laughs> That's correct, Rob. You're correct. Frame zero. Excellent. Excellent work, class. Rob, you do it so much better. You got the whole teacher thing going on. I just have the... I don't even know what I have. Control X. We'll put it on layer, another layer. Uh, vector. Control V. These are the eyebrows. All right. So now we got the eyes and we got the pupils. So this is eyes. Eye holes. But we're just going to call it eyes, because hole is weird. Probably will get me demonetized. The pupils. All right, let's see if I can remember this. What's wrong? <laughs> they get you every time. So we should be able to do math. I need a group. I need a group. That's what I need. All right, so new group. Now I take pupils, move it into layer 7 group. Layer eye group. Now my layering's all messed up, right? Pupils need to go above the eye. Now we go into the group. We'll call this eye group. Or you can just call it eye. Just call it eye. Eye, 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 eye. Naku, I'm loving this man's energy. It's so high. You know it could be. Is Johnny the TA for this class? Is this a group study session right now? Tech, it, this is whatever you want it to be. All right, double click on your layer settings, ladies and gentlemen. Let's screw this up together. Masking, click. No masking in this group. This is <laughs> okay. So, the first couple times, 
We're just gonna click on stuff and not know what's happening. <laughs> so I normally hide all and then everything vanishes. So hide all. Click apply. All right, there we go. See there, something happened there. Look at that. We're really good. <laughs> and then if we click here, we can say, all right. So hide all is right. All right. Ah, exclude strokes. I'm pretty sure I want to exclude strokes. No. <laughs> Add to the mask, but keep invisible. So this is a really weird way to do it. Mask this layer. No. Add to mask. Exclude the strokes? No. No. Oh, maybe, maybe my pupil needs to go below the eye hole. And then... Oh, wait, no. I could do... Add to mask, but keep invisible. Yep. Subtract from mask. Clear the mask. <laughs> it's like, what? Back up the truck. Clear the mask, then add this layer to it. What? Why? I may I maybe I do have to apply it. Nope. 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 This is <laughs> I used to know how to do this. Mask this layer. Add to mask. All right, let's do it this way. There's three layers to, to an eye now. One is... All right. Because of the stroke. You used to be able to do it with the stroke. What did I... I Look, I moved the pupils. Well, that's working, but I need to get the, the stroke in front of it. So I could just duplicate the eye and then knock out... So let's do that. This is the easiest thing to do. Regathul, I'm glad I've earned your your favor. Oh, look at this! You can- Oh, that's cool! So that's new! You didn't used to be able to right-click that. I'm gonna duplicate the layer. And then I'm gonna say, I stroke. <laughs> I stroke. There's probably a better way to do this. So now that we do I stroke, we can now click on the shape. Oh, Q. Q to click on the shape. And then, bloop! Get rid of the fill. Get rid of the fill. Now we go to our eye. What is this our eye? Which is the eye? This is our pupils. Our pupils, and now we don't have to select the pupils individually. We can now use this layer, transform layer. Oh, wait. Let's make sure we set the origin. So why is that important? The origin right now is set to the middle here. We want this controller. We don't want this. This looks really weird. I want this controller to be smack dab in the middle of the eyes so we get rid of all this visual clutter. So when you're animating, you keep it focused, yo. So blam, right between the eyes. Headshot! There we go. So now, we go to our layer tool. The layer is gonna take everything that's in this layer, right? So, our pupil layer, remember? Let me just... zip it a zip it a zip it down And then... zip it zip it zip it down Whenever someone makes their own version of a U-Realms character, it is canon. It is, it's like a Spider-Verse! That's what's going on. It's- it's welcome to the Spider-Verse. Oh, her. Hello, look at that. Walter? Ha! Huh. What's over there? So there you go. That's what we can do now. We have this. You can animate that. In fact, we will. So here's this over here. What's that? What's that? What's that over there? What's that? Welcome to the Unforgotten Verse. We forgot about it. That's what happened. This whole time it was forgotten and then somebody didn't... They've unforgotten it. So now you can do that. And then what's cool about this is... Uh, this is why I wish we could get the one thing working. Because eventually... Alright, let's say this is like so. There is a way to do this. What is it? I wonder if I put the eye in front of the pupils. And then I use this, and then I go masking. Add to mask, exclude strokes. Add to mask, but keep invisible? Apply? Oh, no, that didn't do it. So this is, it goes here? Oh, old car. That's not right. Um, so this layer will be invisible. Clear the mask, then add this layer to it. Exclude strokes. I don't want strokes. I want strokes. I think we- alright, let's try excluding strokes. 
Zy Hero! Let's see some sneaky masters in chat for Zy Hero Loco! And add the mask. There we go! Why is that important? Let me tell you why. That's what I'm talking about. Because now that that's our mask, we can take I. Again, we'll take this layer here. Boop. And now we will uh, smash this. What we'll do? We'll do transform layer. Oh, yeah, we just we just blinked the mask. You see why we wouldn't want to do that with two layers? Because if we did it with two... If we did it with two layers, we'd have to animate two things. Look at that. <laughs> Viz, okay, I didn't know I needed this this man in my life until now. I didn't know I needed Zyhero Loco in my life until now either, Viz. I understand. Completely. I understand completely. I'm gonna follow, like, subscribe, and comment. To Zyhero Loco. Alright, pupils. Oh, crap, I'm on frame six. Well, we'll see. Alright, there's that. The four best game. Thank you very much. We're keeping it. I'm listening. So I'm just, I'm just, you know what? I'm just reflecting it back on you. This is Rob is sending it out, right? Rob is sending out some positivity right now. Haters be damned. And this is what happens. This is, this is the, we are growing this beautiful garden. Did the game, is the game not get creative? Is it still set to squad? I use a thing. It, it's lying to me. It's... what is it at? See, it says it's... what is it? I use the multi-stream. Titles. It said it says it's their creative. It's, it's lies to me. You're so weirdly my cheerleader. Dude, it works. Let's go to Twitch. Alright, streamception. Where does it say? Where does it say I'm in? Oh, it doesn't have a nothing. Edit. Uh, I'm creative. What else should it be? Art? So the weird thing is, Rob, I was thinking about this. Rob says I treated Johnny like dirt when I was in my 20s. I don't know why he got me now. It makes no sense. Because, Rob, who you are... This is... I was talking to my wife about this, actually. Uh, should this be art or creative? Which one do we do? The, who you are now is who I saw then. Because I was like, it doesn't feel like he's any different. Because I've always- I feel like I've always seen you as who you are now. So, if that makes sense, I feel like you- this is- this was always inside of you. And it was- it would- it would- I don't know, man. I'm actually gonna cry if I think about it too much. <laughs> Alright, let's do art. We'll just do art and click, uh, done. Alright. We are arting. The tattoo on your arm. I don't. Tell me more about the tattoo, Rob. Rob. It is a symbol of the order of chaos. <laughs> the order. <laughs> Out of character. I want to cast a spell, Rob. Um. Tell me more, Rob. Tell me. Tell me a little more. So the, so the pupils are a little off, but... Oh my god, I do remember that. Where was that from? That was, uh, the sins of the unforgotten, right? Is that what would happen? Like, it's... Yes! Yes. Ah! See? Ha! Ha ha! I remember things. All right. Boom. So anyway, that's, so that's what we learned about... We learned about masking. Because if we had to deal with that, I'm going to delete the stroke. It's... Rob, do you, should I... You, I'm going to... Which means the audience speaks to me, so now I only listen to the audience. Well, Rob, you, there was some art. I don't know if you remember this. Rob came to my wedding, and there is a... Uh, there's a Sir Schmoopy of Awesometon on my it's proudly displayed i walk past it every day and yeah it was good but there's a little sir schmoopy of awesometon on we had this big thing where you were supposed to like make a mark on the there was a canvas and you were to make a mark because we we had a symbol 
Like, everybody's about symbols. And, uh... I should take a picture of it. One second, let me see if I can get a picture. BRB. Best for game, thanks for popping in. Enjoy the, the legends and leagues. All right. I'm going to get this. It's a wholesome hour, boys. It is. Uh, stand by. Yep, yeah, where's it at? Come on. Google Photos. Uploads the image. And fine, I'll email it to myself. Teletalumbi! What's up, Teletalumbi? Great to see you tonight. We're just doing some artisticness. <laughs> it's, it's, uh... They're member berries, Rob. It's just... No, it's just a beautiful thing. Just a beautiful thing. There it is. All right, let me pull this up. So there it is. There he is! Look at that! Sir Shmoopy! A lot of, lot of great stuff here. This was our... So he, there was a canvas, and... Uh, my wife made a mark, and, uh, then I made a mark, so I did this one, and then she did, well, she did this one first, she went, because we read a, a story called The Dot, and everybody, everybody put a little symbol in there. This was a penguin, apparently, and this is a chicken, and this is a smiley face, and here's the, I don't know, but there, look at this! That's <laughs> every day. Love it. All right. So anyway, these eyes, we just did the hardest part. So congratulations, boys. We did it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right. We need to get a little bit more width on the bottom. So again, what's really nice, the art's beautiful, right? A lot of it um, looks like it was handmade or different shapes. I don't know if it was Vector or... Rob, I don't know what you can tell me about this. There's a couple, like, hand-painted things in here, whether they're brushes or whatnot. But uh, we'll go back to the eye. Um, the one thing we can do, actually, is we can tint it. Opacity, set it maybe to 50. Apply. Oh, boy. Yeah, so Clip Studio Paint is a freaking amazing program. Uh, probably one of the best drawing f programs out there, and it's a super affordable. Um, it used to be called Manga Studio. Yeah, Clip Studio Paint is incredible. If anybody likes doing art, I'm sure everybody knows about it, but this is a, an amazing... It's super, super, super good. And super cheap. 50 bucks. But I think Ahoy or whatever. Is that what you say? Ahoy me hearties? But, um, yeah. I make software now, so I'm kind of like, ah, you know, if you don't mind. Alright. W to get, ooh, whoops. A little bit. Let's uh, just hide this. Bring that a little higher there. Yes, it does go on sale. Oh! Megan! Meg- Megan! Wait, that's Megan?! Megan! Your art... is incredible! 
It took me a second to connect dots here. I'm con I'm dot connecting here. Hello, it's it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for being here. It is my honor and privilege. Thank you for ble this is amazing. Everybody, Megan's here. That's that's the difference. And that's the difference, right? Cuz look at she'd be done with 5 of these by the time I'm I've got one done in Moho. So, yeah. Uh, but I'm just so impressed that Megan's uh, art ability is is incredible. Uh, I love I love I love cartoon look any like I've always loved cartoony looks and just the clean lines and because it's minimal, but you have to know what detail you're gonna put in because you can't put it all in. Um, so yeah. All right, I'm doing stuff on the wrong frame, but that's never good. Because, yeah, look at that. See, look, Rob. Rob was right. So what happened is you can animate everything in uh, Moho. So I actually animated the width. Um, and that's probably on frame one. Yeah, so I was on frame one. So my width that I just made an adjustment to. So Rob, always right. Always work on the frame zero. Always work on the frame zero. All right, let's go back to the eye. Let's give it the width again. G, but uh, yeah, Clip Studio... And especially when you've got when you got mega talent like Megan, you are gonna get a ton of use out of it. I uh, what is oh? I didn't see. I didn't even know you can actually animate in Clip Studio. I have not seen Ra Gengar. I don't know Gengar's gimmick. I'm still learning Gengar, who was previously Haunter. It's like I've been out. I feel like a uh, Rip Van Winkle. Or, yeah. Rip Van Winkle. So, yeah, let's give this wider. They go wider and then sharper. Oh, oh, look. See, a little too much. Johnny? Width again. That's close enough. But just beautiful lines here. All right, so those are eyes that so we can go. I only do eyes. Uh, G. So like both these. A T to bring it down. And then we need this nose. This nose is going to be in front of the eyes. So we are going to create a new layer. Vector, bring it over the eyes. A, start bringing our points down. A cute little button nose. Grab it here. G, select. C, sharpen a couple of the lines. Elongate this line, bring this one back. And then let's bring this guy. Let's do it. A. Go like there. There's the nice round. But then we're going to hit H. The hide. 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 Hey. G. Click. W. Oh. Actually. It doesn't taper. So we'll just take it here. Blam. And then we should be able to go G. Here. And then C, just make it real nice and bulbous. But the thing with hand drawn is you get these, you get way more control over your curves. And and it, again, it doesn't take you a year like it takes me. But when one does not have skills to pay the bills. Super awesome! You use Unity 3D to animate? That's pretty amazing. And not well. Alright. We can get the face. So this is going to be our nose. Actually, I wouldn't need... Yeah. Yeah, I do need that. So cancel. We'll keep... The eyebrows should actually be on this line as well, so we can move. G, select, select, hold shift. And we click with G. Control X, go to layer six. Control V, to paste. Oh, super awesome! 
Unity for the win, then. Okay. What? How are we doing this layering? This can be done here. Yeah, okay. So, A, the nice thing here is we can mirror one of these. So when we have one done, we've got them both done. So, boop. Click, hold, and drag. I'm using the A points key here. And then we got a nice flourish here. I'm going to see if I can get that curve nice. Boop. 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 All right. Got a bump. A bump there. G. C. Sharpen that up. Yeah, still not the same. This is intimidating, having the actual talented artist and, like, butchering her work. I feel terrible. Um, G here. This is a little bit of a bump here. We'll get rid of that. T. Move this like so. There we go. Much better curve. Oh, maybe not. G. Oh, God! It did it now! G. Uh, C. Take this, and we'll just... do. Oh, there it is. There we go. What up, Theron? Snarky and sly. That's the Theron I've been hearing about. Visual arts is hard. At most, I can write creatively. Good job! Make who? You know, you know what to do. I'm liking this. I just put up a YouTube channel with some music here. I don't know what this is from, but I'm loving it. Rob is right about music getting you a freaking groove. This is like, I'm feeling like we're doing some character creation. All right, G, grab it here. Uh, control C, Control V. We'll drag it over here. How do we flip it? Go up to the top. Look at this. These icons right here. Flip horizontally. Flip horizontally up here. Click. A clickety flip flip flop. Take that. Do a little... Oh, oh, oh. Stretch. Perfect. Perfectly perfect in every way. Viz, I'm telling you, that's the difference, right? If you... Before... So, fo Illustrator, actually. Illustrator has done some serious work on their Bezier curves. It was, like... Dante's Inferno, the seventh circle of hell, dealing with them. Especially 2007, when we were doing this. This was so much easier to do vector drawing in. This is God, what is this? Where am I? I don't know where I am. It's an RPG play peaceful travel music. Oh, this is Skyrim. I might not get copyright strike then. That's good. All right. A. Let's work on this uh, ear. So A, drag, drag, bop, bop, bop. You're just feeling the shape. Just feel the shape. Let the shape flow through you. All right. Get a nice ear tip here. Just select the one. C. Bring it down. All right. We need this curve. There we go. Beautiful. Right there. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm. There we go. So much easier to do this when you have a reference art. C? Tighten that up a little bit. H. Boop. Boop. Cut those lines. Because we're going to let the beard be our main line. We're going to mainline the beard. Super Awesome has nailed it. You're not allowed any music anymore. Can't even say lyrics. Crap! Now I'm ultra demonetized. This is I will get struck. <laughs> Damn it. It's all strike now. G A 
And we're gonna do this inner ear now. Beautiful. We're like on the slopes. We're soloming. Is that what you say? Soloming? Sloming? Salalalaham. We're just going right down. All right. So we're close. G, select the point. C, sharpen it up. Ooh, W. Because we need it to be nice and pointy. So one thing that's happening here is the um, the render of this this freaking opacity is kind of starting to drive me insane. So we're gonna put it back up to 100. Click apply because apply is your best friend. <laughs> Excuse me. We're gonna hide, hide, hide. Oh, H H to whoop, whoop, click on the right layer. H to hide. H H. So this guy, we need this. We're going to do the same thing we did on the old Nisivin for this crease right here. So we have a shape, and let me see if I can get it. And grab that. Beautiful. Got to thicken it up a lot, but let's get this little ear crease in here. So we're going to hit Layer 6, A, right here, give it one more here, oh no, hey, 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 drag off of that one, and then there, G, select this line here, U, to create new shape, and it, the shape is just going to be a stroke shape, so that's the thing, there is no fill, there's just the stroke, now you hit enter in order to create the shape, enter. There we go. Beautiful. Hit G. Select this line here. We just want that point, and then we want that beautiful crease. So we're going to just zap, zow. Look at that. Again, you're not going to get the finesse that you're going to get out of the beautiful Megan's work here. But, uh, it's a little different. We can fan that up a little bit. Yeah, the nice thing about Clip Studio is you get some beautiful textures. You're not going to get that here. You There's pretend. You can pretend. There's this no brush thing. Let me show you here. We can select this. Even on this one. We'll do this one. You can click no brush. There's some brushes here, but they're just not... They don't do the same thing. I can do that. And you can see it does little texture stuff here. You can use them sparingly. But they've got some weird stuff like, Hey, let's do some piano keys! Oh, I just do none. Oh, there's some, like, stars. Some grid lines. Uh, there you go. Nuclear launch detected. Double G. Click on this, W. There we go. Yeah, it's starting to look good. Or better. Um, like that. Fill. Grab my dropper. Bloop. All right. Nisivin. I just love the color scheme that was used. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think the blues. Rob, I don't know if you were here, but I gave you a shout out on your colors, and maybe it's Megan. Unsure. But uh, the blue hue that you guys used for this is just beautiful. And it just works so well. Nick Graves did the palette. Megan and Nick Graves. Beautiful. I mean, it's just gorgeous. The blues and the grays. I mean, I still remember to this day, Rob, you and me were talking about Schmoopy, and I didn't have the, the expertise of color. And you're like, nah, that's not Schmoopy's. That's not Schmoopy's blue. And I was like, what do you mean? It's close enough? Nope. Nick Graves was instrumental in puppet design for the show. Beautiful. Well, on the shoulders, we stand on the shoulders of giants. Oh man, it's looking, looking all right. I think when we thicken the lines up, they're gonna, it's gonna look all right. Oh yeah. Boop boop boop. 
can also take this guy. Kill. Boop. The eyes are white, I think. <laughs> That's right. Look at that. This is going to be cool. It's like a... They go, they travel through time. Maybe that's what it's like, endgame style. All right. Let's get, um, what are we next? What's next? What's next? We can do this guy, I think. Oh, maybe here? Yeah. The eyes would be underneath the hat. So we'll do the hat. And then this hat here. I don't know exactly what we're going to do to animate him. If you wanted to have your hat. So I like doing my hats in two layers. Uh, it's a G. C. Make it sharp. This one here. Click on it. Sharpen it up. E. It's all about layers. It's all about layers. But this here, we can have this little floppy part in back. And you could like... If he jumps, it can fly up. Um, because it's gonna be all floppy doppy. Or whatever's happening here. So we'll get another uh looks like a thick band to a thin band. We're creating this uh belt thing. There we go. Uh, G. And this is all... Not a lot of curvature here. So what's really cool here is we can select all of the points. They're all selected. Red, 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 rum. Uh, hit C. Click. Hold. Drag to the left. Now we have this nice... Hardened layer here. Select it. So what I'm doing is... I know I want to sample that color. So what I do is I hide the image... I select the layer with the Q key, show the image again, use this eyedropper, and I'm able to just grab that. And now it is the color I need it to be. Okay. Let's do the same thing for the hat. Select the color, fill, and that's my hat. All right. We've got we've identified an oval shape here. You could use the point tool to create it and do your own thing. Um, if you want it to be uniform, though, highly recommend using the shape tool. I'm just using the shape tool, real nice. T to move, and then you can use this scaling here. Oh my God! The legendary heroes podcast. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> I remember that! I don't think- I don't know where any of them are anymore. Oh, that was fun. We uh, who was- there was a Swedish guy, or like a- no, it was- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, ST1! ST1! <laughs> ST1 would, um... Ezra was with, um... That was Taryn, Taryn and Ezra, but ST1... He was, like, kind of PewDiePie before PewDiePie, and he would take the Unforgotten podcast and he would animate. It was an audio. It was radio. It was like a, it was like a mini episode that we did that was just uh, an audio. It was just the audio. It was just the audio for it. And he would actually um, animate them. So this is another thing that's really easy to do in Clip Studio, the beautiful layering here. It's a little bit more difficult to do in Clip Studio. It still can be done. It's just a little bit of a hassle. Uh, so Q, select the shape. Again, hide or do that. The other thing I can be doing, I could actually have a swatch. You can have your own custom swatch, um, and you can be sampling stuff out. Let me see if I can do that real quick. Actually, I think I have Nisivan. So I should go to Swatches. You can do Custom Image. This is really cool. So let me take Nissivin, new Nissi, open, and now 
And now, swatches. Oh, you know what I need to do? Save. I need to save right now. I need to save right now. No. Oh my god. Okay, come on. Save. I haven't saved. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save right now. Uh, fun, fun. Oh, we dodged a bullet there. <laughs> oh my god, where is it? Do we have it? Where is it? The. I gotta find this real quick. I gotta. It's been. It's been like over 10 years since I've heard it. We were doing this in like 2007 and 2008. It's 2019. All right, where's this? I gotta find it. Where is it? On legendary. Legend. Their heroes podcast. Oh my god, it is here! A Somebody saved it! Aran! I don't know who Aran is. Where darkness ruled the land. Ezra did the opening! In a land where time ruled the darkness. Crap! That's not it. <laughs> In a darkness where time hung out with the land. <laughs> 400 men. No, 40 men. I mean, two guys would become legendary, legendary heroes. heroes. Oh my god, I remember that track. That was the coolest track. 45 minutes. Dude, we did- Oh my god! Gather round for the tales of legendary heroes with Rob Moran and Johnny Perez. Welcome everybody to the Legendary Heroes Podcast. I'm Robert Moran, and the date is December 7th, 2007. December 7th, 2007. Yes, that is correct. Oh my god. Going good? Good day? Oh my god. I'm all by myself right now. Because I haven't introduced the guest host. And by guest host, I mean co-host. That was the wrong word. I meant to say ghost host. Because he's actually a ghost. Well, not really. Anyway, co-host, Johnny Burez. Johnny, you there, buddy? Hello, Rob! <laughs> I was a ghost. Johnny, I'm a ghost! See? <laughs> Attack you and haunt you for your... I'm an idiot! Oh, dude, you did bad things in your previous existence. This is Johnny. That was yes and. I thought we were. Uh, you said you said we were doing the ghost I, host thing. I, well, you said we were doing the ghost host thing. <laughs> the calendar, it was December, and I went, "Wow, so it really the, is December? That's amazing." I'm gonna, I had a sheet. I cut out holes. Well, I was prepped. I was ready to go. I, and you, you go. I was. This is a podcast. Are we doing a video podcast? Where the hell is the camera? I, I well, I'm still. Cameras. You gotta get in character. It doesn't well, matter. Oh, we're role playing. That's what we do because we're legendary heroes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! We are legendary heroes. Save. Our voices are higher, Rob. My days, my days are doing good. I've been doing a little work, which I think we might be able to talk about uh, a little bit later. Some some extra secret special work that I've been well, that's doing. That's pretty good because you know everybody. Some extra secret work. This is me. Mm -hmm. they, they know Rob from. You know, so schmoopy. Oh, hey, Rob. I don't really know who you are. I don't really know who you are. My name is Robert Moran. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, am I 20 or 21? Uh, I think you're, I think you're 21 now. I'm, is, really? August? Yeah, it you're, is. It's, go to the end and find the episode. Wait, did I think it was August? I mean, where is it? Is it back here? Yeah, the thing is, with time knowns, I literally said I was going to release minutes long, I think. Go to the Get one oh, done. The goal is to do one every week. Are we gonna release one every week on a Friday? Oh man, I remember did the music. That was fun. Uh, was episode one today, but I can't. We can't. Dude, time gnomes. Nope. The good news is too, we got more than episode one done right now. But, so uh, that's the last thing, man. We've totally forgot about it, Johnny. The last thing before we take off here. What's the last thing, Rob? I think by the end of the year we're gonna have a trailer for the new season, right, Johnny? We were gonna well... do. Maybe. We have a goal. We have, we have a goal. Another goal. <laughs> we don't have goals. We don't actually do anything, but we have goals. We might not, we might do nothing, but we plan. I'm gonna subscribe. We 
might have a chance. <laughs> Johnny's gonna kill me because I don't think we actually discussed it. Oh, Snarky's got some knowledge. Your voice gets lower as you age <laughs> because your larynx slowly lowers as you age. We might, we probably should. Making your vocal track longer. This changes what frequencies you can resonate, causing a lower voice. I'm a linguist focusing on phonetics. <laughs> Thanks, Snarky. Right in a groin kicking way. Well, no, groin kicking is romantic in Quebec. Oh. Snarky can read the elf language in Euroms Live? That's pretty amazing. And this is, uh, what's your name? I did not know that. Johnny Vores coming at you. And the Wizard of the Legendary Hero podcast. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. I think I didn't I put in the music? I'm pretty sure I did the music on that. Oh my god. Dig about looking for these three look at these people, dude. My memory of this time period is very fuzzy because I do a fair amount of drinking. Does anyone was Johnny in all 50 episodes? No. <laughs> uh, I did I think I I had three so this person says, didn't Johnny voice Elimus? I had three episodes, but we re-recorded them, or uh, Rob re-recorded them, I think. But he had to because we we broke up. <laughs> it was so dumb. But that's okay. I choose you, Evie. Dude, we were podcasting! <laughs> I don't think you were a dick, Rob. This was... Ace? Was this Ace? Who wrote this? There was somebody on the forums that actually made songs. His name was... Oh my god, I... Time where darkness ruled the land. No, wait. In a land... Oh my god, dude. I gotta download these. That's not it. In a darkness where time hung out. Johnny the pirate? 400. Oh, I can't quite finish it. So, let's do it. Ross Mitten says, since Valentine's Day is coming up, I was curious. Johnny, I have a wife. As in Johnny. What's your relationship status, Rob? And where do I send my Valentine's Oh! <laughs> What's going on there? I don't know if I'm going to, I'm not going to play that one. What's your relationship status? Rob? <laughs> Helps justify that question a little bit more. Oh! It is definitely an original Pokemon. Uh, one of my favorites. Because he's just so gosh darn cute. And he can be badass if he wants to be. But, ladies and gentlemen, Johnny's favorite Pokemon, Eevee. That's right, Eevee. <laughs> Such a girl Pokemon, you boy. No, Eevee is still my favorite Pokemon, by the way. So either way, it can be a fire type. It could be a water type. What is it? Jolteon, Vapion, and Flareon. Those are the three. It's like eight formations now. But know. it can be more now. Yeah, can't it? Like Scion and Scion. I didn't know. Vulpix are bust! I get it. Tech FX, I'm glad I found you today. Glaceon? Is that a real one? Glaceon's real? Glaceon. Is that like a ice one? Glaceon. Glaceon. Glaceon! What? Oh my god! I love it! Glaceon is an ice-type Pokemon introduced in Generation 4. It evolves from Eevee when it's leveled up near an ice rock. It is one of Eevee's final forms. The others being Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon, Umbreon, Leafeon, and Sylveon. Was it like a fairy-type? Oh man. In the 10 years that it was since I said Eevee was my favorite. I can give you some credit, but Eevee is just straight. You must be, a, you know, kind of a girl. So like <laughs> two, two. Our audio was good back then, too. But I will tell you this. The PS3 is very good for playing PS2 games. <laughs> oh, my God. You out. Uh. They like you for who you are, and they should like you enough to respect you. And you should ask, well, if you really respect me, if you really like me, you will stop asking me this because it makes me feel uncomfortable. You put me in an uncomfortable... I, I feel like you put me in an uncomfortable situation every time you ask me to go out with you. 
So kind of put the onus back on him. Maybe he can understand, oh, you know what? I'm making a big mistake here. And looks like some advice from Johnny. It's pretty good advice. Either Pokemon cards or kick him in the nuts. All right. Thank you, Dr. Phil. <laughs> What's your guy's favorite animal? Man, we oh. got a lot of favorites this week. Johnny? Eevee. Eevee. Eevee? Fine. I'm picking Ditto. Next question. From Ocorn. That one was from Derek J. Sorry. I remember Ocorn. He was a mod, I think. Johnny's kind of a dick today. I Next am. question from huh? Ocorn. <laughs> Do you guys like camping? You go camping, Johnny? I used to go no. camping when I was a kid. I don't do gaming anymore. I don't like it. Yeah. I, I like camping now, so I've grown. By a moose. By a moose? By a moose. It's fun to go camping with my Why kids. Max I hate it so much. Signed. <laughs> Fan number 5006. Dark Age of Camelot? <laughs> Super awesome? That's like Rob's favorite game. From Famalu, Famalu, Famalu. Fam the trench of dust bowl with the butt of infidels. Dude, this was a good time. I'm so glad. And if West Time sucks for Johnny, we'll probably do two. Maybe I'll get to meet Rob 3. Hey. So whatever you do, don't email Rob's mom at robsmom.com. It was the winner. But no, it was it. the end of the question, or the end of the freaking story was. The, I don't get it. the boyfriend I to told her to stop. No. You're not the... <laughs> I don't know what percentage they got. If I knew the percentage of the stamp of approval but uh other than that i from what you've heard and what we've heard yeah, we're expecting some good things he's, he's talented man ash williams ash it was ash williams he's the one that did the music yeah he's good yeah, he's good right. at team you, fortress 2 as well i think you can't tell me who's good at team fortress 2 well anyway i'm not did telling he, did you, he decimate I'm you? Like, oh, no, not really. Yeah, I remember that guy. Uh, vaguely. Yeah, apparently. Oh, here's the actual episode. With snakes for heads. Here. Off the balls. Like, that's what he likes to do. It scares I'm like, here we go. There's nothing Nine more years. debilitating than shooting, shooting other snipers balls, in the cajon. Okay, I got it. I got to watch this. And then I'm going to go back to some arts. One, two, one for each ball. There's the right one. Got the right one. Bang, there's a left one. Big balls, Jenny. So, coming up next, we the are going to do the pod quest. quest. The pod quest. Dude, that was the best freaking name ever. That was the best name of all time, the pod quest. Valentine's Day treats. Talk about a little more about some TF2 things. Oh my god, I want to do a pod quest. So, Let's listen up. to the pod quest. <laughs> I'm closing my eyes. When we last left our heroes, they were fighting three dragons with snakes for heads and feet and magical badger wings adapted for chasing adventurers down bottomless pits. Great! How are we supposed to beat them? With our chin and our wit, Michael. First, you don't have a chin because it's covered with a beard. Hmm, good point. Second, you don't have any wit because you're an idiot. Hmm, very good point. <laughs> You have no chin and no wit. Do you expect us to beat these three dragons? Well, they have snakes for hands, right? Right. And snakes for feet, right? Right. And magical badger wings adapted for chasing adventurers down bottomless pits, right? Right. So then all we have to do is throw an adventure down a bottomless pit, and the dragons will chase him. Because this is what dragons with snakes for hands and feet and magical badger wings adapted for chasing adventurers down bottomless pits do for a living. Right. But where are we going to get an adventurer? Isn't it obvious, Mike? No, not at all. Really? Because remember that guy at school that was like, hey, do you think this is obvious? And he was like, oh, no, not really. Yeah, I remember that guy. <laughs> uh, vaguely. Yeah, apparently he's also an adventurer. And apparently, he's standing right here. Why, hello, chaps. Might I fancy an adventurer with you lads? Sure. Ah! <laughs> Threw him down the well. Okay. We better get out of here. Yeah. We don't have much time. What do you mean we don't have much time? Well, when Paul gets to the bottom of that pit, those dragons will get him for sure. <laughs> Why would there be a bottom to a bottomless pit? That's because the pit isn't bottomless, Mike. That's just its name. Well, then what are we worried about? The dragons are only adapted to chasing adventurers down bottomless pit. If the pit isn't bottomless, there shouldn't be a problem. Oh, well, I guess we'll be fine. 
After dealing with the three dragons, our heroes begin their adventure to save Shmoopy's grandfather. So, do we need to get like a magical herb or something to save this guy? No, your grandfather was kidnapped. Shmoopy and Nalo come across an old farmer who appears to be in shock. The farmlands around him are completely decimated. Elumis says to the farmer, My poor man, what has happened here? I don't know! <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? I wasn't really paying attention! <laughs> How can you not be paying attention? Your farm looks like it was totally destroyed! <laughs> busy thinking about how lovely it would be to have some delicious crispy chicken. <laughs> some delicious crispy chicken if you're willing to tell us what happened. <laughs> well, my farm was attacked. <laughs> By what? Ninja! <laughs> By ninja! <laughs> Farm be attacked by ninjas. I don't know. Let's ask him. Farmer. Yeah. <laughs> Farm attacked by ninjas. I don't know. <laughs> How can you not freaking know? <laughs> I was busy thinking about how lovely it would be to have some delicious crispy chicken. God, fine. Have the whole bucket. You see. <laughs> Ninjas came in the night. The night, you say? Yes. And as we all know, ninjas are very good at decimating farmland <laughs> at night. That's true. We did all know that thanks to the discovery. <laughs> the ninjas stole my wife. Wait a second. <laughs> So some ninjas stole your wife, and you're not telling anyone until you get some chicken? No, I'm not telling anyone until I get some delicious crispy chicken. <laughs> you got your chicken, idiot. Can you tell us where the ninjas went? <laughs> yes, the chicken. That way. <laughs> well, that doesn't really help, as this is a pod quest. <laughs> Which way you're pointing? Well, maybe I would tell you which way I was pointing if you boys <laughs> would be so nice to fetch me some delicious crispy chicken. <laughs> Ch chicken? <laughs> oh, fine. So, where are we gonna get some chicken? I don't freaking know. I hate this oh game. Oh my god. Where are <laughs> some delicious crispy chicken for the farmer? Some honey mustard sauce. <laughs> Delicious crispy chicken. Dude, I remember that. I remember like it was going up, made it like infinitely more funny. What will happen? At the bottom of the well. Unforgotten pod quest. Oh my god. That is freaking good. That was freaking good, and th I gotta say, there was this awesome, like... Alright, I'm gonna reminisce for a second here. There was this really, really good Digital Juice soundtrack that was like, it was quirky adventure comedy, and it just had it. The outro theme! Yes! I don't remember where that was. I think it was also Digital Juice. I have a whole, like, binder full of Digital Juice stuff. I gotta find it. Ba 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 ba! <laughs> Extra crispy chicken. Oh man. Or just crispy chicken. That episode I, I know. makes it's... my mouth water. I, I seriously, I, I, all I, I was... want is chicken. Oh. oh man. Discord. I'm checking the Discord. Alright, what do we got here? Oh! <laughs> well then. I won't. I won't say it. I will say, delicious crispy chicken. Ah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's get back to this. Let's get back to the. I don't know what I'm doing right now. We're gonna go. Oh my god. 
I don't know! The thing is, I don't think- so I'm glad- I'm glad everything happened the way that it happened because I don't think it should be canon that Elumis has that voice. Because Elumis Nalo voice needs to be the- I can't even do it. He had like a lisp or something. Like it was like a something. And my voice- my- this- this voice here wouldn't very have been a very good Elumis. Like, he could be another character, but he doesn't, he shouldn't be Alumas Nalo. So, I'm glad it happened, because otherwise it would have been canon. And that would have been... No, 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 no. Alumas had, what was it, Rob? What was the, Al I gotta find, where's Newgrounds? Is there, are there old... So the other thing is, I, so the other, I feel sad, because like, I, w I want to know the lore, like, I really wish I would have participated or watched more of the Urums Live stuff because Urums Live is incredible. And the depth and the characters and everything that came out of that is is second to none. But unfortunately, all my knowledge is with the Urums Classic stuff. Was Nisivin the same? Oh man. Yeah, well there we go. That's a good transition back to Nisivin. Let's get the let's get my where are we at here? Oh my god, I cannot believe that that stuff's there. Alright, I need... Oh my goodness. I have too many tabs open. Oh shoot, I just closed it! <laughs> I just closed the tab I needed! Uh, history. Recently closed. There we go. Alright. Back at it. There it is! Super awesome! Thank you! Alright, one last little... One last... Oh, man. I don't know if Flash is even gonna work. Did they retranslate them there? Dude, look at that. 190,000 views. That was, like, epic. That was epic! Control-Shift-T. E. Oh, ooh, I like it. Alright, let's see if it works. Oh, my God. It's so good. All right, so the first thing you have to do so is... the first thing you have to do, the first thing... Pick a race from the catalog. Dwarf. Okay, then the next thing you have to do is pick a class. What am I... Dude... Can we just take a minute? And just... Praise be. Look. We're all here. This is just so great! You were like, I'm gonna do this thing, I'm gonna make this thing. Your art, man. I don't know. I just think it's good. This is the hardest part. No, I, I just want to call it. I don't care if it's Rob or whoever, but this is the hardest part is just to freaking do it. It's just to do it. That's the hardest part. Oh. Doing it, man. Like actually freaking putting a line on the paper, doing this, doing this is the hardest part is just freaking doing it. And then the second hardest part is publishing it. But maybe that was back in the day because you could only do it on new grounds. Like, it was, a, it was a pain in the patookas to get content out. But man, yeah. Oh. So that's the thing. That's the thing. The easiest teaching is going to be powerful. Well then. Oh, I like this song. Mmm. Alright. Let's get our tools ready. Make somebody proud. Sivan's got a little chubby cheek there. Give us a little bit of wiggle room so during the animation we uh we don't have to worry about clipping stuff. I love the proportions too. I've always loved the proportions of Unforgotten Realms. That chibi it kinda got away from the chibi super chibi, but it still is chibi-ish. Chibi like. So, now that we're so, when we last left our heroes, 
They were right here. So now we have this custom image that I can actually just um, pick from here now, and I can grab. All of a sudden, I'm thinking about how Nisivan's jawline and unsure how chiseled I see it in my mind's eye. Just scale the head! <laughs> head! Move! Gonna go upstairs and cry on your big pillar! On your huge pillar! How do we go? Oh, wait. No. Yeah, no, that's, a, that's all right. Okay. All right. Look at this. G. T. We see this gap here. Eliminate the gap! Yeah, he's probably not super chiseled, so we'll just... Give him some... Well, maybe... Yeah, he's kind of... Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. I see what you did there. Alright. Now, see in the, the shadow, too. We'll, we'll go back and see if we can add that stuff. Um, it is not as easy. But we were talking about that for here as well, because there's some beautiful highlights and lowlights here, and these beautiful reflections. They can be done. It can be done. Yes, you can wiggle the ear. Super awesome. You can wiggle the ear. Ear wiggle is go. We might have to break it out into its own layer, but it is its own shape for that very reason. Tech, we can make a buffness event. We can make it all. We'll do it all. We'll, we'll make it all happen. All right, so that needs to be below, and then the front, the beard is going to be part of the front. Oh, well. This is weird. We've got a little bit behind and a little bit in front. So we'll see. Let's get the beard. And then you see this? We'll have to come back for those. Hmm. Happy little beards. Happy little old boy. So here's the difficulty because of the fact that, check this out. So our line, we lose it. So now we get to kind of, we get to kind of have fun. That's why I picked Nisivin first, Rob. I have a, I have a, I feel a connection with Nisivin. I think he's like a, an aspect. Okay. How am I? Oh, yeah. We'll do this. A little hump here, so we got to add a little dot there so we can get that definition. <clears throat> G. Select the dot. C. <clears throat> Excuse me. I might need to get a drink. A, add a point. Let's drag that there. A, add a point to here. All right. G, get this point here. C, drag to the left to make it sharp. Don't cut yourself. There's that. Bring that line here. Yeah, again. If you are a master drawer, there you want the Moho 13. And you can actually use all the raster paint tools. But if you're like me, so this has got a shape in front of this. So the beard is actually stacked. We'll have to revisit that. Ref Ghoul, thank you very much for popping in tonight. I appreciate it. This was awesome, Johnny. Thanks for the stream. I'll definitely try to catch you next time you're streaming. Good night. Thanks, Ref. Have a wonderful evening, sweet dreams. Looking good. Oh, nope. So this is a little too much. A little Tony Starkish. So we'll hit T, flatten that out, C, and make it a little wider. Hmm. Q. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> 
That's in front. Uh, let's shift it all the way to the back. Shift, down arrow. Is it all the way to the back? All right, let's see what happens here. So there should be a line. I need a line here, I think. So I might need to actually add that line back. I took it out. Oh, there's another line here. This line, huh? Hmm. Like, really, this is its own shape. So let me do a little adjustment here. Really, it's its own shape. Let's go back to the front. G. G. So this, we're going to actually get rid of. Um, let me G, and we'll kill this guy. Kill it. Die, die, die. Goodbye, points. There we go. So T, right here. C, drag to the left. Nice pointy. There we go. So now we're going to have some really nice secondary that can go on top of here. We'll start it here. We'll, uh, you got to be careful because I've got auto wield on, auto weld rather. So here's auto weld. What that means is if I drag, it's going to clip and make it happen. Super Awesome says, can you anchor a point to a point on another layer so it deforms the shape when moved? Yes. Super Awesome, I think you can, if I understand you correctly. Can you anchor a point to a point on another layer? Um, uh, not on another layer, on another shape. And then you can bind layers together and there can be bones that can actually do some deformation together. So there's there's bone, bone, bone layers that Rob was doing uh, last homework stream. G. Well, we could take a look at that when we're ready to start rigging. Um, okay. So now we'll T. B Bone Storm! Alright. No, it was really cool. I think I just got super inspired. I saw... Uh, Rob playing around in these old and I've always I actually look back very fondly on our time together see and so it just brought back a lot of great memories seeing those files again It sucks when you're in the thick of it. Like, I think, Rob, I think you're in the thick of it right now, and... When there's a hurricane all around you, just know that there's an eye of the storm. Where everything is calm. You? Like that? Hit an H? Start hiding some of these. Helios. Yeah, there we go. Well, I could actually keep that one unhid. And W? And let's wind that down. Dude, I know. It was great. It was great to see you. Like, I truly believe, like, and maybe as you get older, that's what you find out, but I think you're truly a workaholic. And that that is a, a phrase that's used kind of willy-nilly, but the true work, like, a, truly someone who's addicted to work. I mean, a real work, like, to the point where it's a, a impediment to your life. And what I saw was the first time you came up for air. Like, this week or whenever we first started talking, and I was like, man, there's a change. A real change. It was like breathing again. Alright, well. Whatever this meta is, whatever you got to do, baby, just do it. Just do it. Do it. All right, I'm not in love with this here and this. This is not as natural as Megan's beautiful curve. Like 
that is just whew, look at that look how beautiful that is so g t see if we can just give that the grace that it deserves i think we can right here c take just this side here because this curve is pretty good so we're gonna take this and just there we go that's what i needed and i might actually be able to remove this this and see what happens so let's delete yep c and then there it is beautiful Re real big <laughs> real beards this is man let me tell you you're not showing realistic beards the beards need something to they have curves real birds beards real bards there's some lumps i got some lumps in here though i don't know where the, my lumps are my lumps my lumps my lumps this here. See this guy. Stretch it out. There you go. Much better. Viz, okay. Thanks for popping in, man. I love this. Is so you're so thoughtful, guys. Popping in and just not disappearing. You're saying, "Hey, that's what's nice, I guess, about watching with with some with some friends." Yeah, you get some sleep, buddy. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, it needs a little thicker helio here, but we'll adjust all that the thick the thick noise. So this is where see it's a beautiful the trailing here at the end. I wonder, I mean, hmm. Beards, we could get away with a little of that fun brush. Not that one, though. I think there's a way I could change the brush spacing. Brush angle jitter. Align brush with curve. Yeah, that, you know, that kind of works. I'm not in super, but, ew, does it? Yeah, it's a little fuzzy. Ugh. Remember I said it kind of works? Just kidding. Mm. What the hell is that? I don't even know what that is. You know, a little rainbow beard. <laughs> well, that's cool. It's kind of like a watercolor dealio. I think they're really trying. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, this has got something in there. Little, little subliminal sketches. That's kind of cool. I mean, I think it's for those times that you really can't. Naku, thanks for, for popping in, man. And the honor's mine, Naku. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful evening. I should probably go to bed here in the next hour or so. I'm just on that good old central time. We'll go with none for now. G? Let's get that mouth in there. Get a mouth. Oh yeah, Rob, go to bed, man. Well, hey, this is this is because you you did it to me. <laughs> I saw this the other day, and I'm like, damn it, I'm gonna do this. So you to select the line, and then that's a shape now. G. W. <laughs> Excuse me. So here, we're running into an issue here, right? His lips are a little too pursed, so we just need to add another point. And then we can make it a little thicker. Mouth Mouths are a whole other deal. New Juno! 
Dude, I'm telling you, it's it's fun. I want to make some uh, unique characters, though. Like, I want to just get these first couple down, and then I wanted to just start making dudes. So with the shape, I want to select this shape. So uh, hit sh uh, my U key on. Select the shape. Oh, wait, not U. Uh, Q, sorry. Q key. Q key to select the shape. Hold down control. Click on the shape I want my color from. Boop. Paste it on over there. Kind of bouncing all over the place. We need this real quick little curve here. G. Or. Er, yeah, G. So it's not there. I need A. C. Yeah, they're nice. G. Yeah, it's never going to be better than what Megan did, but A. I'm a big fan of doing like clips and stuff. I always like making my clips. All right, so they're all selected. Hit C. Drag to the left. Uh, Q. I like my clips to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to do a little creative control click. It gives it a little more depth for me. <laughs> you got me inspired work when I should be playing video games. I didn't even see that. That's funny. And then also, these, I'm going to give them just the slightest of uh, uh, rotation. G. A save. Oh boy. Oh, it's because I'm saving on my external hard drive. That's why. Oh, because I restream, Rob. Yeah, I'm not an affiliate because I restream. And affiliate gets, uh, even though it doesn't matter, <laughs> because my content doesn't really reach too many people, but um, exclusivity. There's an exclusivity cause that clause that you have to have 24 hours of, you can't stream on YouTube. and But for my squad stuff that I do, um, what do we want here? So I restream too. My numbers are atrocious, but I like it because it doesn't give... It also lets me not... So I'm in um, Twitch, Facebook, Steam, Nemo, DLive, YouTube, Smashcast, and Mixer. But you can see, zero, 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 zero. But I'm okay with that. Because it's not about... It's just about reach. It helps me keep it a hobby because otherwise I get delusions of grandeur that like, oh my god, I could like make money doing this. And I want to make sure that I'm doing it for the right reasons. It's, it's silly. There's some people that are like, you should just double down on Twitch. But I don't know. I don't know. Dude, I hear you, Rob. Definitely. I don't think there's anything wrong. So I get, we've gotten donations. We actually, so the, the main content on this channel is this, the military game called Squad. It's a really great game. It's super, um, there's a cool esports scene associated with it and it's 40 v 40. So it's 80 people on a server and it's combined arms. It's really cool. But uh, a lot of military vets play it. And so we uh, donated 50% of all the donations go to uh, custom canines in Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah, super awesome. Were you the, so anyway? We did a donation, so I think I think I made like six hundred dollars over the course of a couple years, and we gave three hundred of it to custom canines, and it was really cool. They give away service dogs to veterans um, for people that like have nightmares. These are dogs that'll like turn on the light, and they'll like snuggle with you, and you're having a nightmare, and they'll like, or if you're having a seizure, like stuff like that, they'll like 
Um, if you if your legs are amputated, they'll get stuff from the fridge for you, and it's it's unbelievable. Like I've I've seen them in action, and I still don't believe it. Yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible. It's it's super incredible. Valid, thank you. Yeah, it's neat. So my mom is a veteran, so it's it's just like a. It helps. Oh, this is so beautiful. Megan, you did such a good job. These lines are just... They're perfect. They're perfect. Look at this. Oh my god. Okay. The question I'm trying to figure out is... Yeah, I think we're gonna use this here. Yeah, you are very welcome. All right, let's do this. Go here. We're going to do a little bit of layering. Just a little bit of layering. And again, we're going to use... We need we need a little bit more... shape to cover this ear during any kind of animation. So we have been using just one line, and we're going to... We're going to use our hide line method. Hey, there it is, Terrapin! <laughs> On YouTube! How you doing, Terrapin? You rums live, my worlds are colliding! <laughs> I think somebody maybe saw my restream and decided to log in. Thanks, buddy! I love it. Well, thanks for being here. It's also kind of fun. Because my chat here, you can see it. My chat's like... Twitch, 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 YouTube! <laughs> it did! We, we did it! We made it work! <laughs> oh, my dog wants to go outside. I'll be right back. Snarky saying, man, getting a service dog in the U.S. is really annoying and difficult. I'm trying to get one so I can live by myself when I start my Ph.D. because I have some pretty serious disabilities, including cerebral palsy, which makes living by yourself hard. I'm, in a, I'm a wheelchair user. Anyways, I've been trying to get a service dog. It's like 10K. Yeah, the ones that um, custom canines. So, Snarky, these are them. Custom canines. Um, it It's twenty to $30,000 for these dogs. And if you qualify, you just get it for free. So, it's incredible. It's Wisconsin. I mean, it's Wisconsin. They'll, they, you have to match, but yeah. Uh, all types of disabilities, children with autism, people who use a wheelchair, people who are visually impaired to military veterans need help with post-traumatic stress. But it's in, it's in, it's the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. And I love dogs and. Talk about wholesome, right? You've, have you ever met a man? These dogs are incredible. They're the most loving. Oh, God. It's so good. Yeah, mobility assistance. Service dogs acts as the arms and legs of someone who's physically disabled. These specially trained dogs can help pull, pull a person's wheelchair, assist in transferring in and out of a wheelchair, and act as a brace for someone with poor balance. Service dogs carry items in a backpack, pick up objects, retrieve items, open and close doors. Hey, this is from... Wow. This was in condemnation. Yeah, this is, uh... Elwyn Forest. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Turtle Guy 5, this is so unreal watching a squad streamer I watch doing stuff for you realms I never thought these two hobbies would, <laughs> would collide. That's what I'm talking about, Turtle Guy. What's up, buddy? New Juno. I want to get a dog, but I already have two cats. It's probably a bad idea. It, that's worlds colliding right there. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Well, Turtle Guy, it's great to, great to have you. We're 
give it a little more there. This line's gonna be a little off. It's gonna be off because it's so damn perfect. Oh, there we go. This is what Donatello must have felt while he was carving Michelangelo. Or David. I don't know. Some renaissance, guys. You. Oh, there we go. <laughs> H. Let's start hiding those lines. Heidi, 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 Heidi. Oh. Q, 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 Q. Select the shape. Arrow down, arrow down, arrow down, arrow down, arrow down, arrow. There we go. Arrow down just before that. So now we've got a. See, look at the. Man, that line is so good. Ah, it's so good. All right. Let's get it the taper that it deserves, though. I got to get my dog. Speaking of dogs. Let's taper. Let's get a little to zaper here. All right. G. Double. Oh, nope. Uh, G. W. Hmm. T. If we can stretch that taper out a little bit, it ruins the line, but the sacrifice I'm willing to make. I have a little, little puppy. What do I have? Let me see if I can pull him up. Moxie. This little b Moxie's actually kind of the reason that things went wrong. She is a mini miniature pincher and rat terrier mix. And, um... She, like, is she's a digging dog. And what happened is she's, she scratches. Let me find the Moxie. There's Moxie. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's so she's so cute. Look at Max wasn't feeling well, so Moxie's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay on Max's lap. Alright, Rob, you take it easy, bud. Thanks for popping on. There's the pup. There's the pup burst. There's a little pup burst. She's a cutie patootie. No worries, guys. Thanks for being here, Rob. Uh, great to see you. Megan, oh my god, it's an honor. Thank you, thank you. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Reset that angle. There we go. Rob, you, you got it. What's the plan with Nisivin? That's a good question. I'm actually just kind of kicking the cobwebs off, like the stream was saying. Um, making sure I still know how to do everything that I used to know how to do, because I've only used this a couple times. For work since Unforgotten Realms. Good news is it's just like riding a bike. Get right back on. Uh, there's some definite some new tweaks though. Before it wasn't this easy to do eyes, which was the most difficult part. So I'm hoping to figure out kind of the look and feel of whatever these characters are and start to maybe chip away at some of my own. down. He needs to look up. Yeah, sure thing. 
Awesome. One second. Um, you need it separated. Which one do you? I'll just give you the whole thing. Let me save. File. Uh, there should just be an export. Export frame to SVG. How do I get this to you, Super? Are you on Discord? Super friend request. You Scotty as a master wizard. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun to say. I want to read rest of chat in Scottish accent. You Scotty as a master wizard. <laughs> Where are ya? Where are ya, super? I'm looking for you, laddie. I can't find you. Oh, where are you, super? There you go. Scotty! What's up, Scotty? Hey, Johnny, you never really responded to my Steam message a while ago. Did you just slay the sp- Oh, I didn't- Oh, I didn't see that! Scotty, I'm sorry. Did I not? Oh, it's because I'm not even- Steam isn't even open right now. There we go. One new item in your inventory. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, no. Don't. Looks like it's not here. Oh, I have one new invite. Oh, it's got it. No, it doesn't. Add a friend. Your, friend, your group's pending invites? No, I don't. Hmm. I might, I might be doing... Oh, it's a humble bundle link. It's in a message. Let me check my messages. I will have to look. Rob is playing Trove. <laughs> I don't see anything right now. Got it? But that's okay. I appreciate you thinking about me. Alright, I gotta find a... I gotta send a thing real quick. Look at all the frames! Oh my god, all the frames! <laughs> that's so many frames! Alright, I gotta find a super awesome. I don't think I've even played Trove, Megan. Is it good? Is it good? There, Super. Thanks, Super. I'm sending this to you right now. Phew! I haven't looked at it, so I don't know what... how it is. Oh, there's Scotty. Phew! Alright, I'm gonna click on this thing. A very special gift just for you. Are you sure you want me to... Okay, I'm gonna claim it. You're welcome, super awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Scotty. That was really nice. That was on my wish list. Cool, man. Oh my god, super awesome is going to spend the next five hours downloading Unity. Holy crap, that was the longest thing that ever happened. Oh wait, I'm thinking the Unreal. Unreal SDK. 
Gotti, thanks. There's no problem. Like I said, I spare and you're one friend with it on the list. I don't have a super... I'm trying to do fun, creative stuff. I don't have a ton of time doing games right now, but i am definitely got it on my list. I just got Evo Land. It was $5. And oh my god, I'm laughing my ass off on that game. It is so fun. I think I need to add a little bit of... Back. Oh, he needs another ear. That means... That can only mean one thing. I can... Take the ear. I can... Copy the ear. Control C. Go to the back layer. Paste the ear. Flip the ear. Move the ear. And then... Oh lord. <laughs> and then shift... Shift down it. Oh, nope. Nope. Okay. Hue. Uh, shift down. Shift down. Shift down. And then... Shift down. And then shift down. There we go. Uh... Yep. T... There we go. And then I think that whole thing is just gray, though. No problemo. And now the ears. And wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Fey lad, I did. I got the complete one. But I don't have a controller, so... Uh, it was, it's weird, because it's very controlly. Yeah, Evil Land is so, especially I grew up with all those games. So it's so fun to see, like, you get the mini-map, you get hearts, you get, like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. So, Scotty, what am I working on right now? I wanted to just see if I still had it. <laughs> I wanted to see if I still could do, um, Anime Studio. And I'll tell you, when you've got amazing art, like what we have with Megan's here, uh, it's pretty gosh darn easy, but it doesn't hold a candle. Look at that. See, like some of the differences are huge. Um, but I can fix it. I could fix it. Like I could give a little bit more to the, a little bit more cheek. Show a little more cheekness of in. And then hide, hide, hide. You. Put you in back there. There you go. Oh, jeez. That's the wrong color. Uh, control click. There we go. There we go. No, I can't wait to... I can't wait to see it. You know, that's not a terrible... This event. Again, the lines, the thickness of the lines. It's the default thickness. I can probably up it if I want it. Oh, he needs a little tuft. He needs a little tuft of hair here. So a. Bop. 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 Let's see if we can do, use it with just curves. C. Take this curve to nothing. Oh, boy. This curve. To like, there. Take this curve to nothing. Ooh, what? What's the curvature zero? So you can use it up here too, but it looks like I crapped the hell out of this one. There, like that. This curvature. Again, on this side, it's not much. There. You can do, if you finesse those curves, you can really get a good looking. A good looking. You. We got it. There we go. Mmm. But we gotta... That's a, that's really difficult to do. Scotty, if you start playing Slay the Spire, you have to message me on Steam and let me know how you're liking it. I haven't played it in a while, but it's definitely fun. I like the card aspect to it, Scotty. It was like a rogue with cards... I just look neat, like a combination of a game I hadn't played before, which is why I... I don't wishlist a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. I did for a little bit, so there's all this a bunch of old stuff on there, but... You know, I need a, I need my floppy dongle in the back now. My floppy dongle! Here we go. Bop. 
¿Va? Sí. Uh, uh. There we go. Hmm. Sí. Take that. In. Oh yeah, there we go. T. C. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Q to select that shape. Control click. Q again. Shift arrow in the back. Uh, G. H, click, uh, G, select this point here, W, oh, yeah, beautiful, look at that, looking nice, this guy here, don't know what we're going to do here, T maybe, T, 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 ta, T, ta, get these so that they're just a little bit more, And then if you really want to do some floppy stuff, I would need to add a couple more pivot points in there. Points. I love that we could make a blink. And it's a smooth blink, too. Let's let's just do a blink. Look. Here. And then, oh my god, we haven't even touched actions. Actions are the thing that are incredibles. All right, so I need to create... Oh, man, it's been a minute. I think I just right-click. Add keyframe, yeah. Let go one, two, three. So, one, two, three, three frames. Three frames and blink. And then... Uh-oh, I needed that on this one. Shoot! Copy keyframe. Copy. Paste. There we go. Boom. One, two, three. Paste that same keyframe. Oh, we got a blink. Oh, we'll give him a wink. Uh, so to me to do the wink, I would need to break out the eyes separately. So here, let's see what that looks like. Hey, that's pretty good. Blink. Blink. We could do an eyebrow move. All right, so with that, though, you're going to do point animation. So we're doing layer animation because of the fact that we can select everything and it can be uniform. So if we're doing a wink, a wink is a little bit different. <laughs> Super awesome. Abort! Abort Visual Studio! What was it that would install all the time? DirectX. It would be DirectX would be first time setup. All right, so that's our first blink. And then he's going to look at you, and then he's going to wink. So, whoop. He's looking. Is he, he's not looking at us. But now he needs to look at us. Look at me! Witness me! All right. So the other thing is, is that that move, copy, and then paste. You normally blink and you move after that. So you, after you blink. Move that a little bit. Whatever. Whatever. All right, let's do the winkity wink wank. Tiddly wank. <laughs> we used to say that. All right. And then. 
go the eye. All right, this is going to be interesting. Oh, this is the thing I remember. Channels. So they changed a bunch of stuff. If you are going to be animating, you want a big timeline. So this, these channels, I need to display them. Um, and I forget how to do that. There was like a really... I think you have to like create all or a keyframe or everything. Like, because if I do point motion, I have to like create a blank keyframe for it. How did I do that? Shadows, motion blur, masking. Yeah, keyframes is where it's all at. It's all keyframes. But the thing is, is they tried to be smart with it by... I wonder if it's in the... What's this do? I don't even know what that button does. Hide the timeline options bar. What? Whoa! Okay, no. I'll take that. Um, animation maybe? Maybe auto freeze keyframes? Nope. Let's not do that. There's a way. Oh my god, I gotta pee. <laughs> There's a way that you can add and see all the animation. So, like, the curvature and all this other stuff. So, God, he says, first snow. We did! We got the first snow! I can't... I think it's going to be gone. Yeah. It was, like, icy, too. We got, we got like, a, what, a quarter inch, you think, Scotty? I'll be right back. You got first snow as well. It's it's kind of icy out there, Scotty. Yeah, I couldn't believe it was. Uh, I took a picture. I took a little video clip. All right, I gotta Google. I gotta you Google this. Um, create all keyframes. Oho. F? Ah, there, there, there. I did it. Control F. It freezes everything that's there, so. All right, boop. Cow. All right, so that's the pupil. So I'm going to have him look at us now. So take a look at this, okay? You got point motion and point curvature. You got two lines. This is for all keyframes. The red is for your selected keyframes. The selected keyframes. Scotty, thanks. Thanks for popping in, man. I appreciate it. 
That's real kind of you. Thank you very much. And the wandering eye. Oh, he's looking, he's looking at us now. So the thing is, you can animate things so much. There's the points you can animate, and there's also the layer. That's what makes us so powerful. So we'll bring this over to the zip over here, and now let's start the wink. So, which, which eye is he going to wink with? Oh, the climate. Things things is definitely changing, that's for sure. Alright, we'll do control F. Yoink. Ooh, whoa. It's <laughs> kinda weird. Whoa, Roger. Okay, come here. The other thing I gotta animate is the sharpening of this. So see. Nargi, I can think of worse places than Hawaii. Wink. Wink. Alright, if that goes down, that means his eyebrow's gonna have to go down. Which, that's in the front. So we're actually animating on different layers. Which is... Interessant. Which means interesting. Control F. And then Control F again. The keyframe. This is gonna bring this guy down. And then, gonna have him... Do that. And this guy will kind of like wink up. All right. Wink. So the other thing is, like, he kind of needs to turn towards us a little bit. Which, if we had bones set up, we'd be able to do that. He'd kind of like move his head down and be like, Hey, what's up? Yeah, Snarky, it's crazy expensive in Hawaii. Ridiculously. I think, like, milk is like five or six dollars. US. Let's see, cost of milk. And petrol is also very expensive. Milk in Hawaii. The state regulates the price of milk paid to dairy farmers, but can't control the retail price. The highest price we found on Oahu for a gallon of milk was $8.99 on sale for $7.49. The cheapest was Costco at $4.99 per gallon. Oh, that's in 2007. Come on. Lame. Here we go. Cost of living in Hawaii. How much is milk? Two liter of Coke is four forty. Where's the milk? Where's the milk? Eggs five seventy two for eggs. Yikes. Um. This though, this rent nine hundred. Oh, in a normal area, two thousand dollars a month. For rent. That's for a furnished accommodation. Normal area. 1600 a month. I'll be real poor, Johnny! <laughs> Levi's jeans. Oh, gas is... Wait, one liter of gas. One quarter of a gallon. So, times four. So, four dollars. 
four dollars a four dollars a gallon. It's two fifty five in Omaha. A cappuccino. Five dollars for a cappuccino. Ten dollars if you enjoy the Marlboro cigarettes. Which you should quit, because you'd save money. I don't know how this is even a thing, but... Numbo. Here we go. Milk. 638. <laughs> Holy cow. That's what I was looking for. Stop eating, drinking, and needing a place to live, and you're going to do just fine, Sly. Wink. Control C, Control V. Wink. A wank. Uh, I. Yep. Control C, Control V. We did a little wink. I mean, I could kind of make that eye a little bigger. I guess. G. T. Zip. 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 Okay. Wink. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Who needs money? I know a guy. His name's Rob Moran. <laughs> He's looking to make some money. Tech, that's why I have no money. I keep eating and needing a place to live. <laughs> You're doing it all wrong, Tech. You see what you got to do is you find somebody else to eat for you. And then, then you just pass all the savings onto, onto them. That doesn't make too much sense. The more I think about it. So anyway, yeah, this is this is the crazy way to do it. This is point by point animation. If you were really gonna go in here, you could really do some neato stuff. But it would take you for a long time. Whoop 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 whoop. Gets a little winky wank. Yeah, he, he, this needs some facial motion for sure. Him nodding and getting closer to you or like moving or whatever. But hey, we did it. The other thing is after you have this done, you can save this as an action. Which I wonder if I should just do that. I wonder if I can do that. Let's see. Actions. I brute forced my way. So let's see. Wink. Oh. Okay. Aye, right, this is what I need. The wink. Um. Okay. So I should be able to just take these guys. Take just these, actually. Control C. Go to wink. I'll go back to 30. Or wait, no. Actually, wink can be done on frame one. Wink. Paste. Ah, there's a way to do this. Little F. There we go. So this is cool. So that's a wink on that one. Now I need to go back to front. Copy. Go back to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I lost wink. Oh, I must have put the action in the wrong spot. I must have put the action on... Oh, because I need to parent them. Okay. All right, well, there's a way you can do some business here. If I had a folder, 
if I had a million dollars. You can actually... Alright, we'll deal with actions later. Action Jackson. That's a pretty okay nest of it, though. I'll tell you that. I mean, I've seen worse NIST events. That's false. I don't think I've ever seen a worse NIST event. But we got the eyes working. Um, let's see, what else? What are we doing next? I wanted to do something. I actually had a thing I wanted to do. But Skyrim starts happening, and I just kind of zone out. Come on, buddy. Let's change it. Give me all you got. What is this? What are we? Where are we going? Let's go to... I can open up a bit if you want to see a worse this event. We did it, boys. We we have achieved. Hmm. Nisavin versus Nisavin. I like it. I wanted to see if I could do like a 3D. What would be a 3D thing that would work? Mouth shapes. That's always fun. Hmm. Don't know what to do. Maybe, maybe. I actually use Light Wave. I was thinking about what to do for maybe like a 3D. A 3D, uh. Set. Maybe we do that. Maybe try that. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna do that. Do something like that there. We're in another little, little box. Make it go up a little taller. And then maybe what? We do a pillar? Let's do like a couple pillars. Put something in the middle of the cylinder. We could do a pillar. That's a too many. That's a. Do I need that many? No. Do six. Oh. oh. Yes. Oh, I should just mirror it. What am I doing? No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. There we go. And then maybe we'll do a... In the middle of the room. Like a... There we go. Like a... A pipe. I don't know. A pipe. Let's see what happens here. No, wait, we could do some... Now that I'm in here, I'm like, Oh, we could do a couple of cool things. Uh, not polygon box. There's like a duplicate thing. Where did that go? A clone. A uh, ray clone? All right, Tech, thanks for popping in. Or not not even popping in. It's like you were here the whole time. Thanks, buddy. Cap bros it. There's new squad modeling assets incoming. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. Look at the array. Uh, there. There we go. We could do. The dark color. Um, hue. Hue, 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 hue. Green. We can do. Bloor. I've never done this before. This is new territory. I'm excited. All right, let's try this. So, save this. Mamma Jamma. Save object as. I don't know. Set. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, now let's take this. But there should be a new. Um, Let's see here. New vector image group. Bone switch. Frame by frame. Particle audio pitch. Patch. I thought there was a thing you could import layer, maybe? Reference layer? 3D options, right? 3D conversion. What the hell, man? Can I import? Import. Object 3D model. Oh, let's see what happens here. Desktop. Um, set. Where'd set go? Oh, it's a light wave. I gotta make it an OBJ. OBJ save export OBJ. It's a set. Set dot OBJ. There you are. Where'd you go? Set there, yeah. Oh, oh no way! I'm speechless. Right now. Oh my god. Shut up. Shut up. Oh my god. Totally. 2 5D. Super awesome. I think. Let's see if I use my camera. What happens? Oh my god. So if I bring set now, 
Let's bring him in back there. There. So if I broke the set in a different object, right? Oh, oh, that's cool. So if I had different, I could do the layers, right? So I could have just this guy be its own layer. Super awesome. Let's take a look at the Discord. So Unity will let you hard code changes. Do stuff like this. That's pretty cool, man. I like it. It's like polygonal nificent. It looks cute. Look at that. It's kind of neat. Yeah, it's the curvatures, right? Look at that. That's cool. It's like he got taken into a new dimension. Where there are no round lines. This is cool as hell. Can I rotate? I want to know if I can rotate this. Shut up. That is insane. Position, scale, angle, reset. And then can you rotate layer? Oh my god. Dude, I see this being like a really... I used to take forever on backgrounds. I wonder if I can skin it. Like, let's see if we can put uh, an image. Um, image texture. Yeah, rock texture. We'll just borrow a rock texture or stone. this for a minute. Desktop, stone, open, textured shade. There we go. Automatic sizing. There we go. See if we try that. So save, export. Oh, OBJ. Texture test. What do we think is this gonna work? Get rid of this OBJ. Delete layer. File import. OBJ 3D model. Texture test open. No texture. Okay. Oh, what's this? Why is this X'd out? What's that mean? Oh, 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, man, that real time. Man, that'd be crazy. Layer color. What's this? I want to know why it's... Oh, maybe it's not going to render. Maybe I need to... Um... Options. Silhouettes, materials, shading, tune. What's the materials? Oh, those are the edges. Okay, the edging of materials. Clockwise. Shading. I don't think Unreal does like morphs. Like you'd have to set morphs and then you'd be have to You'd have to do that as morphs. I see he's in the pipe. That's a pretty clean. Holy crap. That's pretty clean. It doesn't have the, the amazing detail that Megan's does, but that's still pretty clean. And this is crazy. This, this. Like rough stuff out. File, save. Oh, man. But what was your favorite part tonight? I'm going to say the eyes. Bao Shao. Super says, I say you do the full animation, then export that and just play it in Unity or Unreal. The lighting on top of that. I think, though... Hmm. I'm trying to think of how you do lighting. Oh, I'd probably do it like... Hmm, okay, so if I go save... Yep, set. And then, yep. Tell a photo on there. 105. There we go. Okay. So we got good light. Kinda. Go back to perspective. Take this light. Change it to a point light. There we go. Oh, geez. 
The reflections are really bad, but... Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Oh, there it goes. So you could totally... I mean, you could... Game engines are really, really, really good for rendering. Especially if you're rendering a certain thing over and over and over again. I'm not effect specular. There we go. So if I did that, and then I'm wondering if I... Go into... Modeler. And then I created a new... Do that right now. Do box. I'm trying to think how I would get. I think if I project. Oh, there it is. So let's pretend. Let's just take a Nisivin. Put our camera. Uh, let's just try this. Our... Oh, clipping is. Why am I clipping? Why is it clipping? Oh, am I zoomed in? That's why. I'm zoomed in. Okay, save as. Uh, ping. Fun frame zero. This guy, uh, select the poly, hue, uh, image, click OK, F5 for surface, this is image, change it to standard, color, planar image, load image, Fun frame zero open. Okay. Uh, automatic sizing. Ooh. <laughs> Four. Six. Six point five. Six point eight. There we go. Okay, so that's that. Now we'll do transparency, maybe? I need a oh, clip map. That's what I need a clip map. There. Okay. Save this guy as 2D cutout. And now we go into here. We load the 2D cutout. Send object to layout. Flip you around. Oh yeah, look at you. Scale. 0.8. 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Or even 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Nine. Okay, no, that didn't work. Abort. Um, there is a way to do this, and we're very close. F five. Uh, 
Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think I have to take it. I have to duplicate it. Okay, F6. That's what I need to do. F6, take it. Fun zero. Um, Clone it. Uh, duplicate. And then I need to alpha channel. Alpha only. There we go. Now the clip map needs to be this guy. And then I might have to swap it here. Let's see. And then this needs to go way down. <laughs> okay, something's happened. Ah, look at that. Okay, so it's working. It needs to be inversed and then the size. Okay. So. Editing, processing. So. Flip map. Positioning needs to be the same as. This six point eight four point four five six point eight four point four five. Does it go in the same direction here? Yeah. F nine. Oh nope. Something got positioning. Positioning. Position. We're so close. Position. Yeah. Look at that. Negative 175 millimeters. Oh! And then reverse it. And then take this image type. Um, editing. Invert. Render? Nope, that didn't do it. So why aren't you... Oh, alpha only. Disabled? Enabled? Hmm. Color space alpha. Dude, we're so close. Invert. Ah, there, there, there. What's that? Okay, what do you... What's this? Alpha channel enabled. Let me try that. Try F9. Nope, so close. Getting closer. Alpha channel disabled. Nope. Alpha channel alpha only. That's the backwards. So, do I then clone this? Duplicate flame. Oh, wait. Clone. How do I add filter? Invert? Something is so close. I'm so close. Hmm. Oh, man. It's that. I just need to cut it out the other way. How am I doing that? I clicked invert. It doesn't invert it, though. I wonder if it's because of the alpha. Wait, maybe if I do alpha channel. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so, why is that? Continue. Oh my god, I'm so close. What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? Nope. Oh, maybe if I do this. Enabled. 
Damn it. Maybe it's the clip. Maybe I don't need the clip. Let me see if I just disable the clip. Okay, that's you. What do I have to do? Is it transparency? Getting closer. That's transparency. I wonder if maybe it's on the image itself. Maybe I gotta do something with the image. Or the other image. F6. Alpha channel enabled. Disabled. Alpha only. What happens if I do that? Okay, there's that. Invert? That's not... That's not right. Oh, there's something. Oh my god. This is killing me. I wonder if it's something with Moho if I have to export... Render. Save as. What if there's like a setting? Preferences. Edit. Preferences. Oh, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Documents, layers, objects. Timeline. Oh, there we go. Highlight frame zero. That's always fun. Tools. Layout, editor colors, appearance. Okay. Well, that's not it. Dude, it'd be so cool if we could freaking get. Looking up the clip map. Oh, there. See, that's what I need. Maybe I'm using the clip map wrong. So there's that. Frame zero. Source. Alpha channel. Enabled. Huh. Alpha channel enabled. That's good. Oh. Oh, because transparency is still on. That's why. Okay. There, there's that. Okay. Oh, object properties. That's why I did it in the wrong spot. Not in the surface properties, in the object properties. So I need to go objects, 2D cutout, and then uh, properties there. That's silly. There we go. Render clip map. Um, image plus. Edit image. Alpha channel alpha only. Nope. Damn it. Copy. Use texture F9. Damn it! <laughs> okay, so I need. I think it's reversed out. So what is this? Edit image. Yeah, I need to swap it.
man. Okay. Huh. Try moho transparency. Transparency map. There we go. transparency it's just I'll putting the wrong the wrong one Transparency or alpha channel, that's what I need. Moho alpha channel. Home star and guitar. Alpha channel. Oh, no wonder it's almost midnight. Here we go. Do, do, do. OS version, blah 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 blah. Blue 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 blue. Oh, here we go. So animation, draw scripts, edit. Export animation. Format. Image sequence. Ping. Hmm. Use particles, multi threaded rendering. God, it rendered fast. Okay. So now I should actually be able to take this image. I'll go F6. Load. Find whack. Open. One. Open. Image type sequence. Oh, wow. Cool. The animation's in there. Damn it. It's still reversed. The alpha channel's reversed. Uh, light wave reverse alpha channel.
have that. Let's see if we can F5 and go to the image and then go to this guy and then click image sequence. Shut up. Oh my God, he's moving. I see him in there. He just closes. Blink. Blink. You see that? He's blinking his eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Where are you? What are you doing? Put map. Oh, alpha channel. Constant values. What's this? Mat object. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. I need to freaking... Ugh. layer right there. Let's see if that works. Put map. Oh, hey, look at that. Image sequence. Oh, no. Abort. Invert the layer. Nothing happens. Clone instance. Alpha only. Damn it. If we did. Unsequence one. Invert. Layer. Damn it! Need to invert you. I'll add a layer. Um, image map, maybe? This is a tough one. What are we going to do to flip this thing? That'd be awesome. Oh my god, we're so close. Raspy. Getting all. Getting all raspy. Uh, 
kills it. What does that do? Anything? Oh, nope. That doesn't do it. Sequence. Which type of reference? Interface, dithering, metadata. Thing. You. You. Invert. Contrast, brightness. Doesn't do anything. Add filter. Negative. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. Use sequence one for clip map. And then the gotta. Oh, it's getting there. We're getting there. Oh man. I need. Oh, I can take this one. Uh, copy the layer, copy current layer, go to clip map, paste current layer, and then change the image to sequence one. We did it! Yeah! Oh, 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 oh yeah! The thing that sucks about it, though, is like, what kind of lights? The lights aren't going to affect because of the 2D. It's just going to be really, really dark or not. It'd be really cool if you could add. Oh, man. How would I do that? I don't know, but that's pretty cool. At least I got that working. Kind of cool. That's cut out. Look at Daddy's winking. I'm trying to think how I would have lights actually. You layered them. Man, that's a lot of work. Oh boy, well, we made it. And it's just a little after midnight. I don't know if I'd ever use this for anything, but it's pretty neat. That's cool. Well, awesome, everybody. Thanks for being here tonight. It's been fun. All these new faces. New for me. Fun, fun, fun. All right, well, have a great evening. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs>